presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Andy in Boulder, Colorado. Hey, Andy, what's going on, brother? Not much, Tom. How you doing? I'm great, man. Yourself? Pretty good. Hey, congratulations on the grandbaby. Yes, thank you. I know. <laughs> he just said, Tommy just sent me a picture. I mean, it's gorgeous out right now. He just was taking him out for his first walk this morning. All He's right. growling and prowling already. Yeah, I bet. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night, folks. To begin a great relationship, know what you want. Know what the needs of your mind are and, and what fits well with you. There are millions of men, men and women, and some of them will make a good match for you, and others just won't. The two of you, only to be like a key in a lock, a match that works. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 231, NASDAQ's down 156, SPs are off five, gold contract trading down $4.30 at 1954 an ounce. We get silver down 16 cents, $25.23 an ounce, light sweet crude, flat, $102.75 a barrel, notes and bonds. A 10 year note, up 11 ticks, trading 119, 15, 30 year off. Up a point and a half, rather, at 140.30 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 579 ticks, trading 100.382. Euro is at 108. Yen is at 127.79. The British pound is at 130 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. What do you have? Well, bottom line, folks, is that... You're going to have the S&P got to a higher high. You're going to have lighter volume. Can't hold price. What does that set up? Guess what? We know what it sets up. It sets up lower lows coming at us. We're sticking out like a sore thumb out here. Look at this, that high volume low in the S&P. 410. We're at 444 right now. That thing is just sticking out like a sore thumb. Bottom line, you know, we'll see how much more cause it has to build. See, when this came down, if you can take a look at this, the first place it stopped is where we had volume. You know, you had volume in the market when we came off that last low, March 16th. And that number was 435. So when you come straight down, remember something, folks. The market's all about energy. Energy on the way up, momentum on the way up, energy on the way down, momentum on the way down. So came down, laid around there four days, you know, the first, and you're going to see, we, you know, we, when we did that, even when it had a little volume, it gave it up on price, but yet it didn't have enough volume to bust this. Now... You know, bottom line, seven or eight days here. We'll see how it's going to handle it, because I suspect you're going to be right downtown once again. NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX. NDX is set up the same way. NDX is much cheaper, much cheaper, much weaker than the S&Ps. Uh, bottom line, that got to a higher high. It didn't. It, the thing that's amazing about the queues is that they couldn't even fill the gap. The gap out here was... Uh, we got to 347.56, and the gap is 348.50. So, bottom line, this is building cause for lower price. Gold, gold contract out here. What we had, gold, gold got slammed yesterday, but when it did get slammed, the bottom line, it had lighter volume than it was going into. And then we had out here this morning is that you had a nice contraction of volume. So, what we did is this. So, picture. We were going into volume of uh, 215 million, 215,000 rather. We did 180. That was yesterday. Today we're only at 128, and you get a rejection of price. That simultaneously, which is important, we get over and we take a look at the U.S. dollar. And what you're going to see with the dollar, the dollar got to 101. What is? It? Yeah, 101.03, and that pulled back. Now. Certainly, when you take a look at this dollar, it's just pulling back. That's not a big deal, man. It's only a, uh, 579 ticks. What is a bigger deal 
But my take is that, yeah, we'll, we'll probably get some follow through. And the, the reason being is this. If we go over and we take a look at the yen, when we were closing out the show last night, you know, bottom line, I said, hey, man, keep, a look, keep an eye on this yen because the central bank of Japan said flat out, man, they are not going to let that handle 130. Well, we got to 129.40 last night and we're at 127.79. You know, if you haven't seen how the J Bank of Japan can come in a market, folks, okay, you're going to have some fun watching this. Because when the Bank of Japan comes in a market, it is brutal. I mean brutal. Some of the higher volume equities that we have out here today, Netflix, of course, is the king. We'll go through Netflix. Netflix is down $127. You get advanced micro down three and a half bucks. Um, Facebook, Meta is down 17. It's a big number there. There's no doubt about it. Disney's down seven bucks. You get Snap off two and a half. Uh, Tilray Brands is off uh, 39 cents, and that's even. It's 420, man. You know, can even, one of the uh, associates in the office with today, were, and this would be really funny as to uh, how many folks were buying calls on 420. 420, folks, I think, it, it, I, don't, I don't really know what it means, but I know everyone wants to smoke pot on 420. And in fact, do you know what's amazing? That, you know, we know that Elon Musk did that 420 deal, the, the buyout. But what he also did, which I didn't realize until I started really looking at it, is that the latest buyout he does, the last number is a 420 in it. You know, he's just always yanking someone's chain. Um, now, let's go to Netflix, because this is pretty intense. Netflix, folks, looks to me like an ABC down to 100 bucks. Okay, so... We take a look at this, but you're going to say, well, first I want to show you this, okay? We, we talked about this. This is when the 287 was game. I just want to show you these, these high volume lows. You've got to pay attention to them. So that was the, the 290 was the high volume low. Now, bottom line, it, 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 said, it said, see you later, man. I'm not stopping at 290. So Netflix blew away everything. And we put this on a monthly. What you're going to see is that you're gonna break a B point with volume. It's gonna be a 300 A to B. Is it a 350? Is it one second, I think it's, three, it's 350. I get, yeah, it's 350. So you get 100 bucks. Hey, I know that sounds brutal, man. The bottom line is that that's how it's set up. So we'll see how this shakes out, man. I mean, it's, it's gonna have the volume. You know, yeah, we needed 241 million on a monthly basis. And right now, you're already at 190, and it's only halfway through the month, so we'll see where it shakes out. What's scary to me, and I don't own Netflix, and this is something that, you know, listen, if you own it, you could buy puts. You could, not today, because the volume, the, well, they're probably, it's hard to tell. I, I have, I'll have to look at the premium. But, you know, in order to protect yourself, because see, see this down here? This is, <laughs> this is like sick. The, we have volume at 18 bucks. You know, it's like, okay, is that going to be destroyed that dramatically? What happens, folks, is this. When you have an equity that actually goes down this fast, and I'm not talking about from the high, I'm just talking about, let's say, four months. You just went from 600 to 220 in, six, in four months. There's, uh, this, this supply line is brutal, man. I mean, there's a lot of people that are just, they're, they're in there, man, and that's, that's a brutal execution. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN. Educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right. 
information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at DFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, up 284. You get the Nasdaq uh, down 133. S&Ps are uh, down up to, let's go to Disney. So you get a lot of action happening with Disney. Uh, bottom line is that he's, Disney's a streamer, of course. Netflix got hit. Disney's down $7. That's the first part. The second part is this, folks, okay? Um, in Florida, the bottom line, Disney has a, um, well, I remember the day, okay, and I remember exactly where I was. So picture this. The day that Walt Disney himself decided to go to Kissimmee and open Disney World, I was still in the pizza business at that point. I think it was, what, 70, 72, 73, something like that. And I remember reading the Wall Street Journal, and, you know, uh, there was nothing there. That's the bottom line. I want to make a long story short, what ends up happening is that the state of Florida, uh, and I, well, Disney was coming in with huge amounts of money. That's, that's the real bottom line. So to cut to the chase, okay, you probably heard about it, that uh, Disney and DeSantis is having, a, you know, basically a political deal going back and forth. So what happened out here today is that the state of Florida, well, no, one of the representatives, uh, is putting a bill in that would cancel the the district. Now the district, just so you get something straight, the district is where Disney is, but they pay all the bills. It's not like they got something going on here. And that's why Disney is so beautiful. If you ever come into Disney, everything you see around it is beautiful. Well, they pay the bills for that. But here's the kicker. Listen to this, man. This is This is so cool because this is where politicians you know, bottom line, will do anything, you know, just to get publicity or whatever they want to get. So the person that put the bill in, that their, their, her quote is that she doesn't even know who made the bill. She's claiming at this point, this all this has happened in the last couple hours, okay? She's claiming that it was a professional bill writer that went in. But that's not the story, man. This is what the story is. So listen to this. This ain't going to happen. This is going to go through. This, so this is my take on it. This will go through this year. But it's not going to happen, and this is why. Disney, I was, I was pulling up their bonds. Disney, not Disney, the state of Florida. So check this out. The state of Florida, picture all these municipalities have bonds, okay? Bottom line, the state of Florida is on the hook. And they're on the hook right now for about a billion dollars. Now, Disney's been paying that. That's not, not a big deal. But guess what? If they 
get rid of that district, okay, either the cities around Disney are going to pay the bill or the state of Florida is going to pay the bill. That's the first one. But the second one gets a little bit trickier. And this is what it is. I'll read you the quote. This is inside one of the bond. This is inside the billion dollar one. Okay, one second. Let me get this. I got to get this straight. Okay. Because what you're going to see, you can, you can picture people are out there buying bonds and then turning around and you can change the deal. Um, so here it is. The state of Florida have promised not to alter the rights of the district or impair the rights of the bondholders. I mean, more importantly, impair the exemption of the assets and the properties of the district. You know what? It's all fluff, man. That's the bottom line. But this is it, what's so intriguing about this. I could, I can, ex I would expect that. The politicians themselves, we happen to be in the finance business, okay, so that's the first place you go to kind of look at, okay, what's going on? Um, you get the gist of it, man. It's not, it's not going to fly. It's not going to fly because uh, either state of Florida is going to pick it up. Or can you imagine being in one of the cities beside that? <laughs> and you're going to pick up the bill, man. Um, it looks to me like the way that the writing is inside of that, um, you know, if they decide that they want to be in court forever, you know, well, that, that's where they're going to be. So we'll see where it shakes out. But my take is that um, I suspect what, you'll, what, what will happen is that that will go through because the Republicans own the Senate and own the House in Florida and DeSantis, whatever DeSantis wants, he gets. But once it goes through, they're going to see it and then it's going to be a hot potato beyond belief. Because could you imagine if you live in that district and then you, you look and say, what just happened here? You just gave me a billion dollar bill? Okay, anyway, you get the gist of it. Facebook, let's go to Facebook. This thing is getting slammed beyond belief. Uh, Facebook out here, so this is down 16 bucks. You got volume behind the move, so this is an ABC down. Your B, A point on this is, what is that? so 36, 236. So it's, uh, what's it? So it's a 24A to B. That gets you a 196, which is low. So the lows are 197. That's say it's going. That's say it's going to the lows. Um, you know, we'll see uh, how this the baby shakes out. Put this on a three-year. Oh, look at this is already a mess, man. Oh, this is going after. This is going after March lows. March lows are 159 out here. And then IBM. So IBM come out with numbers yesterday. Uh, bottom line with IBM, you get. Up 8.98, and we put this on a weekly. And this looks like it's going to go up and test that uh, 143. Right now, you're at 138. This has juice behind it. So the, the first swing point up there is uh, 142. And I suspect uh, more than likely you'll see that 142 basically, you know, basically get tested. Some of the higher volume equities, well, no, let's go take a look at what's moving the Dow Industrials. So point-wise, what's moving the Dow Industrials in here, it's going to be probably big blue first. Yeah, IBM's putting 59 positive points, United Health 58, Home Depot 51, Goldman 38. Taken away from it, Disney 45, uh, Salesforce 28, Boeing 13. Nothing heavy, really. But when you actually, when we, when we take a look, this is still a bearish occurrence, actually, inside the, the Dow, even though it looks pretty good. Well, actually, not, it's not that bad right now. It really depends where the Dow is going to close. You know, the swing point on, on the Dow industrials right now is the 16,372. We got to 16,315, and we're up 322 right now. If this that baby hangs out there, then it will make the run for it. If it basically pulls back slightly, it won't. Now, I was talking about the NDX this morning. You gotta, you gotta take a look at this, okay? And I know plenty of you Tigers know this, okay? But I just wanna go over it again, because when this happens, as I said at the update, you don't have to trade the futures, but if you're trading the Qs, it's very easy to do. And what it is, is this. I, I have the NQs up here right now, okay? So you can see the NQs this morning, you know, it was a couple of our tigers and tigresses inside the 
um, Tiger's Den this morning. And, and normally, it, it's always active by 7 o'clock in the morning, Eastern time, folks, okay? The bottom line is that we were in there about 6 this morning. But this, this trade stayed out here all the way up to almost 9.30. And you can see what, what I'm talking about here. You had the futures. The futures were up 62. Now, if you really understand the NDX 100, it's really hard for the futures to be up 62 when at that same point you had Netflix down 85 to 90 dollars. You know, so the bottom line is what ended up happening as soon as the market opens and what you had up there, I can, it is professional traders selling, selling, selling this and oh, thank you God, I can't believe that the futures are up 62 when on this, the futures are up, on this hand, Netflix is down 90 bucks. Bang, as soon as it opens, two. See you later, down 162. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 321. NASDAQ is down 136. S&Ps are uh, up three and a half. Let's get over to that good old 10-year and take a look at the 10 years, see what kind of action we have on that. So you're, you're up 10 ticks uh, on the 10-year out here today, folks. And... We have done 1.59 million contracts. So let me just look at that. Yeah, see, this is, this is not going anywhere, man. You, you, it's, it's, not, it's in a confirmed ABC structure on the way down, first off. And secondly, what you have here is that, you know, you have just as much volume as you did yesterday. 1.6 on the way down. You made a lower low. You're at 1.6 um, with the lower low. And it hasn't been able to get above the high of yesterday. So... That's telling me that we're still going dramatically lower. 
We go take a look at the 30 year. The 30 year is up a point and a half US. Let's pull this one, US. Where are you? Okay. Whoops. There we go. One second. There we go. Okay, so come on. USM. USM2. Okay, we take a look at the Uh, 30 is in better shape. The 30 is in better shape. That's uh, 325,000 contracts. We'll see whether they can get a bounce going. It went to a low with all the volumes there, but the, with the difference in the 30 years, the 30 has got over the highs of yesterday. Let's go to our man Frank in Gloucester. Frank, what's going on, brother? Hey, how are you, Tommy? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Excellent. Thank you. Okay, so, so let's see what we got here. Uh, well, I'm looking around at, you know, ways to get around this market. And uh, I got into this uh, a little while back, around 100, and um, it's been doing pretty good. And it hasn't paid any attention uh, to what the general market's been doing. And uh, it looks like a compilation of stocks uh, in an ETF that yeah. um, is an iShares ETF. And uh, it's doing pretty good against the market. Yeah, HDV. look at this, man. So it's HDV, folks, and when you look at the description of it, okay, it says um, ETF tracks Morningstar Dividend Yield Focus Index, holding companies of all market caps. The fund primarily invests in consumer goods, staples, energy, oil. And now what you have here, there's no doubt, you can see these holdings, the allocations when they come up. You get uh, yeah. Exxon's the top holding, 7.8%, AbbVie, 6.6, .6, Johnson Johnson 5.7, Chevron 5.6. You can see those first five stocks are all strong too, man. That's the bottom line, which you know is a big deal because, uh, as you just said, and it's a dividend play. This is definitely a dividend play. So what happens with a dividend play is this. Yeah, let me let me go back over this. What happens with these folks is that they leverage these up really well, um, and that's why you can see this continues going, Frank. Okay, because. For the amount, here, let me do this again. I'm going to put this up because I, I was always trying to figure these out, meaning like the amount of leverage that they have because you can see what's happening. Now, they're owning these for the dividend plays, but what they do, okay, is that they're not like you and I that, you know, we can go two to one or something, right? They, yeah. they can go a lot heavier than two to one, man. That's what ends up happening. Oh, okay. And as they do that, what ends up happening is that they're going to get higher dividends, right? You know, because these are all big dividend-paying stocks. You know, Exxon, Johnson & Johnson. Let me just see what Johnson & Johnson is paying. Well, they only pay a 3% dividend, which, you know, when inflation's 10%, that's, that's okay, but it's not really that much. No, it's not, but that's what my point is, is that it's 3%. Then picture they're going to they're gonna, um, leverage that up three or 400%. That's, oh, wow. that's why you okay. see that chart going this way. So, wow. All right. yeah, and now that's great when things are going good. It's not when they go the yeah. other side. But, you know, yeah, I mean, right now, that, that's a good-looking chart, man. And there's not a, there's not a good-looking chart out here. <laughs> I mean, it's very hard to find a good-looking yeah, chart. Yeah, I know. Well, it weathered this last downturn in the market. Do you think it'll weather another downturn in the market, or is their uh, method going to start to get shaky? No, it shouldn't get shaky because what happens is that so, you, you gotta you have to go somewhere, right? And yeah. let me just bring yeah. this back a bit. And so they're they're on the dividend play, and that's what even what most people are going to go towards, even if they lose some money from inflation period. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But this looks strong, man. I mean, you know, I would stay in this until, you know, I mean. I know you're in at 100, but don't let this get under 102. See that bar there I'm looking at, Frank? That's, a, that's yep. last month's bar, 102.05. I think I just stay right there because, you know, you're in a great position, man. I mean, you're either to make $2 or this thing is going to go to 115, 120. Um, yeah. Let me that's, just put this right back. Right where I got my stop, 101.72. That's awesome, man. Seriously. Because... Yeah. What what this this is this is saying it's an ABC up man. Yeah, one second. Seventy six. Yeah. That's all. 
to 100. Yeah, it's 24. And that's going to give you uh, what, what, 114. Today. That's saying that 118 is game. I'm, ta I'm taking the B, the C point off that 93.48, Frank. And I'm not, okay. I'm not do going, I'm not doing the A all the way down. I'm just doing the A on uh, what's that? The third, the 20th of March, I think. Is that one? No. It's, okay, I got 98.10. Yeah. No, hold on. I, I got. One second. I'm sorry. Okay, so oh. I, no, I get this on a monthly. Yeah. It's on a monthly. So the, I have, oh, okay. I have the A October of 2020. And see, it's a nice oh, one. Okay, okay. That, that's. The A there is 76, 23. The B is the high 100.48. We need volume of 6.5 million. And you can see you got 13 million and you crossed it. So okay. it's a good number, I man. I buy a little more. Thanks. Cooking, brother. All right. Have a great one, you man. Don't. Have a safe one. And, you know, it, it is going to get intriguing here, to fo folks, to see, um, you know, some of these dividend plays, how they're going to hold up. That's that's uh, we'll see how that baby shakes out. The um, I know Tesla. Tesla's coming out with earnings after the close. We'll see. This is gonna. Let's take a look at this. Tesla's down forty-seven bucks. The lows five forty-six. The highs twelve forty-three. Now Tesla's gonna be looking for revenue of seventeen point nine billion and bringing two dollars and twenty-seven cents to the bottom line. Now that's less than last quarter. Last quarter they brought 254, and you can see that they're not looking for a big expansion compared to the last quarter. Last quarter they did 7.7, .7. and you know there's some challenges right now because of the work stoppages in China. And that being said, guess what, man? My take is as Tesla's going to be an ABC down. Ooh, baby, this is this is building cause. So right off the bat, we have, yeah. Tesla wants to trade down at 700 bucks, man. This is going to be crazy. If this, if if this ever, if this one ever blows apart, folks, okay, it's going to be a real problem. And you know, someone that just brought up into the den, I'm not looking for like a, a 2,000, um, you know, type of Nasdaq route, but they were absolutely right that some of these stocks are trading like 2000 and if you weren't around the 2000 the bottom line you know you had jdsu you had qualcomm you know outside of so picture this this netflix if this full abc comes to fruition is would be the biggest abc i ever saw come down the street because qualcomm was a 200 point a to b they split so it actually and, and, but it was a 200 this is a 300 and tesla that wants Are you price. in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors.
biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, so if you're watching Tiger TV, folks, what I just did here is that I brought up the largest shareholders of Netflix. And what's so intriguing is this, okay? So you, when you take a look at this, you're gonna see number one is Capital Group. That, that's a fund out in California. Listen, it, it, that's always been a fund that does some good numbers, but they are gonna be hurting today because they own 13% of Netflix, okay? Then you got um, Vanguard, BlackRock, Fidelity. Um, you know, bottom line, you have quite a few folks that, that own this. What's so intriguing to me on this, right, and this is very unusual that you, you see it this way, there were no sellers, man. You see, when, when you're looking at this fire column, this tells it here, I'm gonna change this, okay? There's buyers, I'm gonna change it to sellers. No one was selling the stock. You see all those 21s? That means that every person, okay, when they were selling it, they, they sold it in 2021, but no one sold it in 2022 and then if I bring this back to buys, you're gonna actually see right there, February, who's that? Oh, Wells Fargo, that figures, oh my God. Wells Fargo just bought a, another quarter of their position. They're probably doubling or tripling down. They bought 450,000, uh, 415,000, 415. But you can see the rest of it, there's really no action there, man. And that, that is, that's, that's normally, um, that's unusual. That's the bottom line. Let's go to uh, Steve in uh, Reno, Nevada. Hey, Steve, what's going on? You, buddy, you, buddy, you're hitting on all cylinders today. <laughs> oh, yeah, too much, man. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. Anyway, uh, I guess my first question is, uh, how many people do you think got burned on the NQs this morning? I'm thinking, uh, you know, when you said, hey, look, you know, Netflix is here. Yes. And the NASDAQ futures are here. It, I'm thinking, uh, I know a it's, it, you know, it's hard to tell because I've been doing this so long that I, I'm really, I, you know, my take is that they push this thing overnight. You know, it's hard to tell. I mean, you know, you can't, I don't really know what a lot of people are thinking. I know anyone that has been in the market for a while, though, should have been selling into that, or at least not buying it. Let's put it that way, at least not buying it. Because my point is, is this, folks, okay? You can put them up right beside each other, man. And if you've been doing this, even if you've been doing this for four or five years, most of the time people know, you know, what the big movers are inside the NDX 100, you know, as well as the Dow, you know. Yeah, the, the NDX I, 100 is what. easier because you just go with the FANG stocks, you go, you know, with Netflix, you go, you know, where's Microsoft going? Where's Google? Where's Amazon? Where's Facebook? You know what I mean? Because they move those markets, man. Apple, you know, where's Apple, you know? So. Yeah. Yeah, they'll balance uh, one out against another quickly for sure. But I guarantee you my face was the same as your face when, uh, nice. you know, when I saw the differentials there. It's crazy. Anyway, uh, Netflix, I think uh, you're 100% right for the $100. Uh, and I know you're right, because so many people, so-called so experts, are saying this is a buying opportunity. This is a chance to really pick up some cheap calls, and you'll do fine. And, and I, I said, no, this is $100. Just take a little time, maybe even down to $40, because they got a big problem. They don't make money. 
Well, no, they, 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 make, they make money. Okay, they make money, but what happens is that, like before today, they, they, I, I think last night their P.E. was like 60, 80 something. Their P.E. is 20 now. So what's happening is that you're still paying $20 for a dollar of earnings. Well, the market is basically saying you shouldn't be paying more than 14, just if we yeah. averaged it out, right? And they're contracting yeah. now. So they're contracting. If you're contracting, you shouldn't be paying what the average P.E. is. I mean, fundamentally, folks, okay? That's, you know, and, you know, even if you're into technicals, you should really just get to understand that pretty quickly because it's easy. And I've, I've mentioned this many times. And um, what I'm talking about, Steve, is this, is that if you and I were going to buy a business, right? And, you know, they're saying, okay, we took in this much money. We made this much profit. What happens with private businesses versus public businesses, for some reason, People will pay so much more money for companies that are losing money, and they'll never do it. They'll never do it for a great business right on Main Street, okay? Which is just, but right. you, you gotta do that. You have to do that because that's what eventually gets that stock price. You know, I mean, we, we had speculations that go up and down, but the reality is that that stock price is gonna be predicated on what all of us are willing to pay for $1 worth of earnings. And, you know, and that, and, and what, what we also know now, which is tremendously different, is that when Netflix started, they didn't have any competition at all. The competition out here now is insane. I mean, it's everywhere. So, you know, the bottom line is that uh, it's a tough business now. It's a de definitely a tough business. And then, of course, if they're saying they're going to have commercials and all of this, well, what's the difference in regular TV? There is none. And I think we're all kind of understanding like how this works. And I think what, what has also happened is this, though, check this out. I think a lot of families have two or three Netflix accounts because when they really first started, you know, seven, eight, ten dollars. And, right. you know, now that has changed. And I happen to be one of them that has right. changed because what happens is that I used to, like, every three or four years, folks, just say, okay, I want a new credit card because you forget how many, I, I like that recurring deal, do you know what I mean, so I don't have to pay bills. But then I'll forget, like, how many to have it. So every three or four years, I just cancel the card, give me another one so I can make sure I know what I'm paying for. And that's, that's what happened on Netflix. I'm one of those subscribers that aren't there anymore. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it's, they're, they're using the excuse of well, everybody's sharing uh, sharing the uh, passwords. Yes, they have to figure that out. That's their management. Yes, they have to figure because everybody does. I've got I, oh, I share for sure. a password with a seventy six year old mother in law. Yeah, she rarely watches Netflix, but she still got it. Yeah, and I, there's no doubt, man. They, and they, they'll they, they're gonna figure. Yeah, they, well, they can. I think software wise, you can do it pretty quick. And that will that'll make a difference. And you know, listen, they're going to have to do that. That that's that's the bottom line. So I agree, agree, one hundred percent. Hey, listen, uh, thanks for talking about the Florida gig. Maybe keep us surprised about that. I'm ha having a hard time figuring out what that's all about. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be intriguing, man. You know, because the it, it's definitely a financial deal, and they're thinking it's not. It's so it, it's it's intriguing. I mean, it, you know, we'll see where this does. And, that, and I'll, I'll definitely follow it because. I love bonds. That's the bottom line. And, you know, that, yeah, yeah. most of the time inside of any of those types of bonds, folks, they overrule cities. Because could you go here? Just imagine. Could you imagine that you and I are buying bonds and what ends up happening? You definitely can't depend on a politician that's going to that you're going to get paid. Politicians always want to get paid. You know, they don't want you know, the cities, you know, to pay back. So you can imagine how tight every bond is across this great country of ours. And they have to be, because just because a politician decides he doesn't like someone, you know, or who knows what they think, or the next politician comes in, that is not how the bond market works. The bond market works that, you know, it's the law, the state of Florida already agreed to it, and it, now it'd be different if they didn't go out to the debt market, do what you want. You could change, you can say, hey, I'll take it away, but guess what, they went in the debt market. Cooking, brother. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. We'll come right back.
Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, let's go to Al in Boston. Hey, Al, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you? I'm doing great, man. Yourself? Good, good, good. Thank you. Listen, uh, uh, just uh, thank you for... Uh, all the years of education. I've been listening to you probably 20 plus years. I appreciate uh, you listening, man. And it, yeah, no, it, 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 uh, it's been huge and uh, helps keep me out of trouble, I think. <laughs> yeah, um, I know. <laughs> I'm glad you had to think. Uh, you yeah. know, it's a fast it 20 years, isn't it, man? If you wouldn't mind looking up the XBI. Yeah, let's take a look. And so you get the X, uh, XBI. This is the biotech uh, ETF. And, okay, so you got, uh, it looks like they, yeah, you got, you got quite a few buy techs in. Okay, so, real quick, okay, so we're down the last six months, that's for sure. So you're off 134, you're trading 84. Let's put this on weekly first. This is dangerous, man. Are you in this? No, no, no. In oh. fact, I was looking. What's happening here in Boston, Tom, uh, from a, a uh, construction standpoint, is an enormous amount of building right. in Suffolk and Cambridge. Yep. Uh, all biotech, pharma um, uh, buildings. Uh, uh, listen, with, I was. With, I had an office at Kendall Square on one of those first. I was on the first floor yeah. in 1981, right when. Huh. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? One wow. of the first brick buildings right there. But don't oh buy goodness. this right now. This is what's going on. 
This baby looks to me like he's going to go to 73 and might hit 62. This is a high volume low, man. And okay. All right. Yeah, that's what I was was wondering was where this thing looked like it might uh, might be settling out. So I'll wait to, to buy it. I haven't uh, bought on it, so yeah. uh, so that's that bid on it. That's that's great. And it is thanks, amazing thanks. what happened in Boston, um, isn't it? That's yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah, pretty cool. Uh, yeah. All right. Have um, a great one. Have a safe much. one. You know, it's amazing, folks. Okay. When I say this, so Harvard Square's down the Kendall Square. There was nothing at Kendall Square. It was a slum. And uh, Boston Properties built the building. We rented the first floor. Uh, and now, I mean, forget it. Always remember, folks, the bank and Chloe hot out the book and run you over. And thank God there's always another trade. Have a great night, safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock.